This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. We are back in the Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. I am at Sorgatron, and we are ready for the Mayhem Underground, the show formerly known as... The Mid Week War! Ah, yes, yes it is. And, uh, of course, we are back. Of course, there were a lot of travels, a lot of things going on, a lot of life things going on, but we did not stop watching Lucha. We just stopped talking to you about Lucha Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but we're catching up. We're doing an all-encompassing the last several episodes, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this. And we're we're getting our things. Hey, we we, we got. Get the, for, hold on. I, I know it's not included in their episodes, but holy crap, the rabbit tribe got really creepy. Oh man, yeah. Um. So the last time we were here in uh, the uh, the Lucha Temple, <laughs> which actually. If you've noticed, I'm actually in the uh, revised. That's right, Mad Mike, Mad Mike from uh, still from Poughkeepsie, New York, the one with the the only one here with a future endeavor letter from the WWE, which means he has to start his own show to do what he truly loves on the El Rey Network. This is true. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but um. So the last time we were in the Mayhem Underground Temple, <laughs> uh, Paul oh. London killed a guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Paul yeah. London killed. A little man. Um, it was weird because I was looking through some some of the, some uh, projects I was reposting on some new platforms that we're on, and mm-hmm. I, I came across my interview with him in our basement. Okay, <laughs> in the mayhem right, basement. Yeah. And I'm Sorg, just like Sorg. He did not did kill Paul anybody. Think, are you sure? I haven't looked in that one closet for a while, but I'm pretty sure. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. Um, so also, Sorg. also, worst thing to watch before going to sleep. What lucha? No, the part with the rabbit tribe and killing a guy uh, no, and the creepiness no, there, and the weirdness. There are way worse things to watch before you can go to bed. You can watch Raw. <laughs> Different kind of nightmares. Hey, I'm the guy. That, <laughs> I'm the guy that had a dream that Tazawa turned heel. Apparently, uh, I'm not. Yeah. Even, I'm not even having dreams about the most interesting of wrestling I, I shows. Think, I think he did for a half second. Okay, it's like, but I feel like it was recent. I feel like I just no, it was. It. It was. It, it, he, it was for a half a beat. Like, he and Atami got really angry, and then they're like, oh, no, wait. But that, that was like work. a month ago. Anyways, Lucha Underground. Yeah, anyway. Mike, how do yes. we do the show? All right, so, um, Sorg, this Mike. is going to be kind of a weird episode because we're talking about three episodes. Yes. So I want you to give me Trace Palabras. Okay, uh, I don't know if I'm going to. Three, tra- three words. It doesn't okay. have to be one from each week. Good. Good. It can be a three-word three phrase words. if you'd like. The three words. Oh, geez. I just, I just want, I just want tres palabras. Okay, okay. I have. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, uh-huh. um, can they be? Can they all go together? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Justice, pizza, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and um, and and alternatively, uh, adventure. Okay, Justice Pizza Adventure sounds like your comic book, like your personal one about mm-hmm. the adventures of Sorg. Yes, yes, that's basically it. Yes. Okay. Um, Lucha, Lucha can feel me right here. My, my, my three, my trace palabras are holy fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There was a lot yeah. of that happening. There, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of Lucha. All right. So, um, Sorg. Let, let's talk. Let's talk about gifts of the gods, because okay. a lot happened with the gift of the gods. The gift of the gods turned into a gift of the gods tournament. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> or gauntlet, really or did. or right. you know, seven stages of hell. I don't know. So, Sorg, give me a bueno about the gift of the gods. Um, Desmond X. We got to see a lot of Desmond X to get introduced to this guy who got a title for a title shot uh, uh, very early in his new career. Okay. All right. Um, uh, well, I want to point out also, see, he's Desmond yeah. X announced, but it still says Xavier on his tights. Yeah. You no. Know, yeah. That's weird. Well, I mean, but, you know, I don't he, know. He makes that impact money, so I don't know if he can necessarily afford new tights. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. 
Um, mi, mi bueno for the gift of the gods is storytelling. Because hmm. there was a lot of it going on. There was. There was a lot. Like, you have everything with with the Mac making interesting decisions. Mm-hmm. Um, like, Killshot being jealous. The Mac pissing off a murder death machine by the name of Mil Mortis. Um, and I think my favorite thing out of the Gift of the Gods, like, storytelling-wise, was when they had the Battle Royal to determine who was going to get kicked out of the Gift of the Gods match. Mm-hmm. And it came down to Mac and Son of Havoc. And Son of Havoc just eliminated himself because if it wasn't for the Mac, he wouldn't have been in that match in the first place. There you go. And the announcers didn't necessarily pick up on it, but I knew it was circling around. Yeah. It was pretty great. It was pretty great. Um, So, Sorg, do you have a Malo about the Gifts of the Gods? Malo? Um, Yes. It felt like when you're, uh, you know, watching that really good series, but you're just like, oh, we really needed to stretch this to 23 episodes, and these three episodes do not matter for anything. Um, I okay. don't, I don't, like, not not to that extent, but it felt like that little, like, uh, well, we can make this happen for two more episodes and don't have to worry about writing something else and do this, this, and this, you know. But they did so many nice little things, like like you just told about with the storytelling, that that did not become too much of a model. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, because I am in Mayhem Studios uh, beta, if you guys hear something, there are cats running around all over. So um, mm-hmm. the feline tribe is present yes. in this Mayhem Temple. Yes, uh, Mad yeah. Mike is coming the, from the Cat Temple. Yes, the Cat Temple. The Cat Temple, actually. Uh, I see uh, the, the leader of the Cat Temple perched on his throne. Mm. Wherever. Um, but yeah, if I had a Malo about the, uh, the Gift of the Gods, it was... I... Re- I thought the wrong trios team won mm-hmm. for the chance for the belt. It is weird that they're still going with oh, which okay, okay. The, the like wrong... like the the, the uh, Papa Cueto broke it down to a trios match, and the winners of the trios match would fight each other for the gift of the gods title. Mm-hmm. On one side, you had Mac, Eva, Lee, and Son of Havoc, mm-hmm. who have a lot of history together, and on the other side, you have. El Dragon Azteca Jr., you have King Cuerno, and you have Desmond X, who have literally no history together. So I thought it was kind of weird that they didn't go for the path of least resistance by having some cool storytelling and maybe giving Son of Havoc a moment he's been wanting since season one of Lucha. But I mean, I'm cool with I'm cool with the second winning. It's just I would have liked to see that other triple threat match better. Mm-hmm. Maybe we will down the line. Ah, we very well might. Mm-hmm. Um, Sorg, if you could have a cambio about Gift of the Gods, what would it be? What change would I have? Um, um, I, I, I don't know, man. Dragon Azteca, like I'm, I dig him, but I don't dig him that much. Right. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I feel like I don't dig uh, him. As much as Lucha wants me to be, he is he he's kind of my Roman Reigns of Lucha Underground. Oh no no no, he's not that bad. No no, not that bad. But I'm that's, that that's the closest like the guy like I ah, he's getting shots, but I don't really care about him getting him. A lot of his storyline went away when Rey Mysterio did. Yeah, it's not even the storyline. I mean, it's just I, he well, had, he yeah had, you have to remember Azteca was lined up with Rey. And mm-hmm. Puma last season. That is true. They both ain't here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of like, stepping up. He, so. like, he, like he could have yeah. lost one of them and been still on the same level. Mm-hmm. But losing both, I think, really hurts him. Really, really hurts him. Yeah, yeah. So he's kind of on his own. And I don't know, as as a character, if he's he's kind of floating. Uh, yeah, because so. he's not vocal enough. Yeah. He's not yeah. vocal enough. He didn't have the... Um, Supreme athleticism of Puma or the legacy of Rey Mysterio. He kind of had half of both of those. Right. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, if if I had a combio, I wouldn't even have had Desmond X in the match. Really? Uh, l- yeah. Like because you given, usually, given too much to the new guy, right? It's not even just it, if he had been on like the first couple weeks, mm-hmm. and then he won this. Sure. Fine. But usually on Lucha Underground, when you murder someone, 
that's a sign you're getting pushed. <laughs> oh, I love how, I love that. That is a legitimate discussion. It's, it's a legitimate this. thing. Oh yeah, it's a legitimate thing. Oh, yeah. Like usually, if you kill someone, you're getting a push. <laughs> Even if you kill them off camera, mm-hmm. which absolutely, we will, which we will come back to. Absolutely, holy fuck, we will come back to mm-hmm. Jesus. Um, Jesus. Oh my God, I'm so, I, I I'm pacing myself so we can so I can just bring right. that thunder right. at the end. Right. All right. Uh, so gift of the gods, we pretty much covered everything. Um, this past week on Lucha, Dragon Azteca said that he's going to defend the gift of the gods title. Until he decides to cash it in Ultima Lutra. Does he keep it, Sword? I think he does. If he doesn't, it ends up a three way. Wow. So you're saying he keeps it? I think he keeps it. Oh, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. no. Nope. I think he loses it to Son of Havoc. Mm-hmm. I think he loses it to Son of Havoc. Yeah. Because yeah. I have a feeling as Tekka will be the noble guy and will want to defend the gift of the gods against the three people on the other side of that trios match who didn't have a chance at it. Ooh, I like that. I really like that. Yeah, like and and you can have Dragon versus Mac mm-hmm. and Mill stops that. You can have Dragon versus Evelise and Jeremiah Crane stops that. Mm-hmm. Back from the dead because no one ever really says dead. Mm-hmm. And I can't wait Mario for the zombie. Up. I can't wait for the zombie pizza lineup. I we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. So I'm. I really hope. I really hope someone leads an undead army against Matanza. I really, really hope this is where we're going with it. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So let's move on. Let's talk about our Lucha Underground champion Pentagon Dark. Okay. Because he he he, he was doing a lot. He did do a lot. He did not break uh, Cage's arm. No, he did not. He, he's a machine. Uh, um, yeah, Cage is a machine. Um, if you wanted to break Cage's arm, you'd probably need like a torque wrench or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some assembly required. One of those mm-hmm. I- IKEA toolkits. Absolutely, or at least like a backhoe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yes. I would assume that would work. Um, sure. But uh, Sorg. Do you have a bueno about what Pentagon has been doing the past couple of weeks? Being a fighting champion and being a uh, face of the company. Okay. All right. All right. I'll accept, I'll accept that. Um, me bueno for Pentagon is uh, he he's embracing the fans a bit more. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's necessarily going to turn out good for him in the long run Vampiro keeps kind of hinting on the Ooh. man i don't know he's not yeah. so dark anymore that's what got him to the dance got him to, to the party here mm-hmm. yeah like like <laughs> Vampiro was saying that guy set me on fire once and he's stopping to pose mm-hmm. like, Vampiro makes an excellent point <laughs> he makes I, an excellent i point. tortured that guy for like half a season <laughs> i hung him up from like a weird sex swing thing yeah and I think nothing I, I think I saw that at the guy wearing the jugglos. That wouldn't surprise me at no, all. No, no. Uh, all right. So, Sorg, do you have a mallow about Pentagon? Mm, mallow, 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 mallow. Yeah, I, I mean, he isn't. Um, he's. <laughs> it's. It, it is great that the the luchador is catchphrase guy now. <laughs> well, I I think I tweeted last night. Um, Pentagon may have Cerro Miero. Cero miedo, but he has mucho hubris. <laughs> <laughs> that seems right. That seems right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's a Spanish word for hubris, but I'm pretty sure it's probably el hubris. <laughs> <laughs> it's Latin, though, isn't it? Sure. <laughs> okay. Sure, it's fine. Those, those usually fine. cross-translate in a way. But yeah, like I, Pentagon not picking a partner against Cage and... Um, Cuerno mm-hmm. is really fucking dumb. Mm-hmm. Like WWE face levels of dumb. That's like that's like if if Kurt Angle said, "Hey Seth Rollins, you can pick oh. any partner you want against Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Who are you picking?" And Seth's like, "I'll do it myself because I'm the architect." You could say you could say that Pentagon Dark had a lot of arrogancia. Urgency? 
No, Arrogancia. Oh, oh, okay. That, yeah. That's that's hubris translated I, according to Google. Okay. Really? Arrogance? That's what it says. Arrogance. Okay. Okay. That works. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, Google. That's that's a weird translation, but okay. All right, we'll go for it. Mm-hmm. Um so we don't think Pentagon's done with Cage then. No. Right? It's based not. on how this last episode tr- ended. He can chair out him. No, absolutely not. Yeah, he can chair out him twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It was twice. It was pretty bad. That mask does not protect that. Okay, so Sorg, um, I, I have two topics in mind. We have Matanza, and we have the Worldwide Underground and the Reptile Tribe. Which one do you want to talk about first, and which one do you want to save till last? Reptile Tribe. No. What? I, all right. I asked you two questions. Reptile which Tribe. One, no. You want to do that first? Yes. Okay. Oh my God! They fucking did it. <laughs> <laughs> Boon the Bounty Hunter sequel. Yes. Lucha Underground. That back down that backdoor pilot is in effect right now. Mm-hmm. So Sorg, there are two very specific references I'm going to make. <laughs> both are accurate. Both so perfectly encapsulate this storyline. I have to believe it's on purpose. Sorg, do you remember you, you watched The Simpsons back in the day, right? I probably did. Yeah. Um, do, do you remember the episode called Whacking Day? <laughs> I think I do. Uh, yeah, Whacking Day is the day where everyone in Springfield just goes out and ninja whips a whole, bu- a whole shitload of snakes. That is the worldwide underground versus the reptile tribe <laughs> because <laughs> PJ Black and Jack Evans are essentially ninjas. They've had a nunchuck match. <laughs> Johnny Mundo is their arrogant leader, Homer Simpson, a much, much more buff and hair flowing Homer Simpson. Without so a shirt on. Hey, yes. Without a shirt so, on. Exactly. Uh, without a shirt on. Wearing a headband. Moves, wearing a headband. Yep. Wearing a headband. So it's basically Johnny Mundo is Homer Simpson on Demoxanil on Whacking Day. That's a really layered reference, and if you guys are Simpsons fans, you'll appreciate it. It's and Taya is a really hot Marge Simpson, and <laughs> it's it's just whacking day. You combined. mean Taya is Marge Simpson? Yes. Because okay, that's fair. Come that's on. fair. Mm. That is fair. Taya is a blonde Marge Simpson. How about mm-hmm. that? Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, Taya is a blonde Marge Simpson. When Marge got really buff using the weight set in the basement. There you go. There we go. It's it's perfect synergy now. Uh, and I lost anyone who didn't watch The Simpsons. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. I'm fine with that. If you've watched The Simpsons, you'll appreciate it. And um, yeah, yeah. And um, and the other specific reference is the end of Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part Two. <laughs> okay, I need help with that one. Spoiler alert ahead for those of you who have not read an over 10 year old book. Uh, or someone watch the movie. Uses, someone uses a sword to chop off the head of a snake. Mm. <laughs> so, yes, the, I've been saying since last season that Cobra Moon lived in the Chamber of Secrets, and I was fucking right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Vibora is the giant basilisk who just got his head fucking cut off. I know I'm referencing a different Harry Potter book, but I don't care. It's Close the enough. same Close basic enough. principle. It's the same basic yeah. principle. It was amazing. It was. I feel like this is probably the scene that they, they were filming when we had our call with Mister De Joseph. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, just because it's the first time that we saw the green. Uh, yes. uh, um, uh, dragos um mm-hmm. uh, all the way up to the point where uh we 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 uh uh you know the we weren't here mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah like he just and uh just everything about like now i have a question it's a logistical question because next week we are getting worldwide underground versus the reptile tribe yep can vibora regenerate is he going to have his head stitched on like 
oh, what was that that I watched? Like one of the amazing stories. Well, I mean, you could also reference The Simpsons, where Mr. Burns had his head stitched onto Homer's torso. There you- Wow. Sorry, there's a lot there's a lot of Simpsons references in here, and I apologize, but it's Lucha Underground and it makes me think creative. When I think creative, I think the Simpsons. <laughs> but it, it's goddamn amazing. <laughs> it's so fucking good. It's gang warfare, it's fun, it's uh, I'm mm-hmm. really enjoying this. Yeah, and Jack Evans actually showed up in, in the ring. Like he had Oh, no, no, that was Ricky Mundo. That was Ricky Mundo. Mm-hmm. But he didn't show up with the doll. Which... Tripped getting into the ring. Can we can we yeah. roll off to that for a moment? First, we get... Mm-hmm. Um, oh, hold on. I had a tweet that Uh-oh. that lined this up last night. Oh, God. This no, morning no, 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 no. when I watched this. Uh, uh, it's for Sunny Kiss. Uh-huh. Uh, what, what's, what's Sunny Kiss's name there? I'm not sure a- who you mean. Ecstasy or something. Oh, Exolicious? Exolicious. Yes. Oh, oh, I was saving Exolicious till the end. Oh, then we will just roll. We'll oh, just wait for that. No, no, I mean, we, we can talk about Exolicious now because Exolicious is fucking great. Oh, it's amazing. You got to cut loose, foot loose, kick off your Sunday shoes. <laughs> we, that, we. oh my God. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, yeah, man. so it was like that and whatever that guy calls himself. And jeez, why can't I find this? Like Jack Evans spying on Exolicious, like yeah, and then like Ricky Mundo shows up and he's like, Jack, the doll is like, we don't like Ricky Mundo, and the doll says we should we should do to Jack Evans what we did to Angelico. Like, is that is that doll a murderer? Like, is is it like oh here's your problem you got this thing set the evil. That's another <laughs> Simpsons reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, a, yeah. There's a lot of Simpsons things in here. There's, I'm okay with there's, it there's, there's because they're of, picking great Simpsons things. There's a lot of layers to that that was like started a, a, as if I thought I switched to glow by accident to huh? it got a little bit creepy and whatever the hell he called himself. Um and 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 just creepy doll. Yeah, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of layers. Like, I, so does this mean we're not going to see Angelica again for the rest of the season? That sucks. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I like Angelica. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if we got Sammy Guevara doing the crazy jumps, yeah, then yeah, yeah, whatever. you know that that could work. Yeah, whatever. Um. So Sorg. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorg. What's that? And let's let's talk about Matanza. Okay. Um, I think the go- I think the gods are going to be angry with him. Okay. Um, because you know, sacrificing Vinny Masaro, sure, I get it. Mm-hmm. He, he sent those gods pizza with pineapple on it. Mm-hmm. No god worth his salt is going to be happy with that. Nope. Because pineapple does not belong on fucking pizza. And also, if you're asked if you're a god, you say yes. Obviously, yes. But we all know that. We all know that, Sork. Oh, wow. Jeff Cobb is going to be at IWC next week. I need to ask him if he's a god. Who's who's that guy? It's weird. No reason. No reason. Yeah, no, I think he just likes turtles. Mm-hmm. Uh, turtle, turtle. Turtle, turtle. Um, but yeah, so Matanza is still sacrificing people. Um. So we also need to talk about uh, Big Rick's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Big Rick, Big Rick is a plastic skull in a <laughs> in a locker. I know. What's that shit? He. All right. So, Sorg, did you ever read the comics? No, I didn't get a chance to yet. Oh, oh. So this is canon. This is canon. This is in canon. This is. Right. So, all right. Do you remember at the end of season one of Lucha Underground when Mil Muertes won the Lucha Underground title? Yes. And he had a th- and he had a throne made of skulls. Yes. One of those skulls was Big Rick. That was from the comics. Oh. Perfect. That was from the comics. So, Katrina, not only knew which skull was Big Rick's. The eye patch gave it away. She she oh. detached it from the throne. 
which they apparently still had lying around, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and just placed it in Max locker. The funniest part of that is Max saying, "Oh, we got to put, put a fucking bell on you or something." <laughs> Which is funny because she doesn't have her teleportation powers anymore. She's just really sneaky. Mm -hmm. (laughs) She's just a cat. She she is a cat. She's she is a oh man. Oh God, sorry. I think we almost hit on everything. Yeah, that that's that's got to be it. Um, there was so much with the last couple of weeks. Uh, A lot of fun backstages. Uh, great action in the ring as usual. Uh, with Lucha. Mm -hmm. So um. She's just just such good stuff. Really looking forward to see how um, we're no, not even halfway through the season yet. No, no, we're not. Uh, the season doesn't end until like October. But yeah, I think I think we pretty much on everything. Like there was a um, there was a trio of titles match this past week. Mm-hmm. But it's um, more just really interesting storytelling. Like Killshot took over the match completely. And um, and basically just pointed out to Son of Havoc and the Mac, like, hey, I won this for us, like, and you didn't pick me. Like, that that's not over. That's not over at all. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be real interesting to see where it goes. But, uh, yeah, I think we... I think we hit on pretty much everything. Do you think um, Vibra comes back at all? It's Lucha like Underground, you, baby. Well, that that's not an answer. I'm asking. I'm asking a yes that or no question. That means yes, probably. Okay. I think All he right. pops up. I think he eerily pops up, or we get two of him. <laughs> we get. Oh, do you think maybe he splits off into two smaller Vibras? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one has a really one has a really large head and a tiny body. The other mm-hmm. one has a really big body and a tiny head. There's a certain sh- uh, short performer that doesn't have anything to do right now because they're um, dead. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure he does. Did you, do for, did you forget this part? Mm-hmm. When uh, the Rabbit Tribe went to go see the White Rabbit, yes, there was a uh, small little luchador in a cage dressed all in black. Oh, right. The Black Rabbit. I forgot about that. When is that yes. coming out? <laughs> well, maybe they hired Swaggle or something. No, I don't. Fuck, fuck Horn Swaggle. Oh, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to see him in my Lucha Underground. Oh, we already have. We already have. He just lost um, his tag belt. Jake, with we already, Smooth. We have Jake Strong, who they're really not doing anything with. I don't need to see another Jack Swagger and Horn Swaggle for you. I don't need to see that. Although, Sorg, I think Jake Strong's new gimmick is that he's Mega Man. I dig it. Because because they've said that every person he defeats, he takes a little souvenir from, and he gets stronger. That sounds like fucking Mega Man to me. <laughs> Jack Strong just got Guevara Buster. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. Alrighty, uh, so Sorg. Oh man, Lucha was so good. I'm excited for next week. Uh, Sorg, where can the people on the internet find you to talk? Oh, oh, one more thing before we wrap. Um, I saw I got an email from the Lucha merch shop. I don't mm-hmm. I I forwarded it to the Mayhem account. I don't know if you saw it yet. I saw Mr. Cueto uh, retweet it earlier today. Yes. Um, apparently. The the good people Lucha Loot, and they're not a sponsor. I just think this is fucking cool. The good people at Lucha Loot are doing a special one-time Lucha Underground themed loot crate. Uh, y'all should buy that shit. I bought it. I can't wait for it to come in the mail. I love the t- I love the tweet that went around. Uh, uh was retweeted by Quato. Um, so it goes. I love this. Uh, da, 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 da. Daria would never have done this. Or I'm sorry, Daria would never have done this. But I am much smarter than my late offspring ever was. Get exclusive hashtag Lucha Underground merchandise in a one-time only Lucha Loot Crate. No subscription needed. Modelo not included. 
You do a really good Papa Cueto voice. Thank you. That I can do. <laughs> that That's probably your best impression, Sorg. Thank you. I'm going to roll with that. We're going to lean that's into probably, that. All right, that's welcome probably your to, best impression. And on the next episode of Mayhem Underground, Sorg, where, Sorg, Sorg reads at Papa Cueto tweets. So give me some good stuff uh, this week, guys. Oh my God! Yes, I mean we, we. By the way, that is one combo for the for the mm-hmm. past three episodes. Mm-hmm. We need more Papa Queda. What did you think of my innovative match, making your new gifted gobs champion? Oh, I lost it. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I got a little bit of Yoda in there, but uh, Gar- gargoyles from gravel. Uh, if you think I, <laughs> I can't do it anyway, apparently I can only give you one tweet an episode. <laughs> Okay, okay. It hurts. That, it hurts. That's fine. We can do that. We can we can deal with one tweet an episode. I will make things easy for him. Do you think if, uh, I, I'm not fucking it up? I'm, I'm done. He lost it. He lost it. Okay. All right. Well, next week Sorg will come back with the impression again. So Sorg, where can the people find you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading more of his tweets in my head with the voice, and it's amazing. <laughs> um. <laughs> Jeez, and he's so mad about his son that's dead. <laughs> Jeez, Does his son he that he had killed. He retweeted uh, Mac Cross's um uh the the one we talked about on the show the, the main show this week on the Mayhem show about him visiting the old uh, the the birthplace of it. Mm-hmm. If my son hadn't been so foolish, real be- hashtag believers would still be making their way to the temple in Boyle Heights. But I promise you, whether the Aztec seal goes. The blue. I'm saying the wrong words. The believers will still get their pound of flesh. <laughs> That's good. That's good shit. Oh man, this is great. Oh, this one's the in Spanish. The believers I'm will done. still get their pound of this, flesh. This one. This one is in Spanish, so I'm not even going there. <laughs> oh God. Dios so mio. <laughs> Enough about Vinny Vasaro. Would you dare to die now? <laughs> he's retweeting. I'm telling you, he's Vinny retweeting Masaro's a podcast. Vinny Masaro's leading an undead army. Oh, how did these yes. guys? How did these guys interview the recently sacrificed uh, Snoring Elbow? Jeez, Sorg. All right, have you ever seen the movie Ghost? Oh, you can pottery. talk with the dead. The answer is pottery and podcasting. Mike, I'm at Sorgatron at Sorgatron Media on the, the Twitters, uh, SorgatronMedia.com for all the shows. Check out WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Check out a lot of these guys you see on the uh, Lucha Underground are represented over there, including some guy named M Dog Matt Cross over at IndieWrestling.us. Yes, and uh, you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, every Wednesday at some point, I do live tweet Lucha Underground. You do go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM, or for when Sorg watches it, go to the hashtag Sorg. Usually Thursday morning because that's when it gets up on iTunes or Xfinity. Yes. Depends on what Xfinity is doing. Yes, and oh man, we have we all we have so much. I have so much fun live tweeting Lucha mm-hmm. Underground. I don't know. About you, Thank you, everybody that interacts with us for those. Um, oh, I did start a new show of, uh, let's see, uh, the buck and the buck and cage, uh, mm-hmm. a wacky new comedy coming soon to El Rey network. I saw that, that I, that I would buy three seasons of that. There you go. There you go. The Syndicate. buck and cage. It, it's a, buddy, it's a buddy cop show, right? Syndicate that shit, man. Mike, thank you so much. Yes. And thank you everybody that's joined us in the chat room. And, uh, of course on the, uh, wherever you subscribe to this and find this on the WMS master feed or other video formats. Uh, this has been your Mayhem Underground, also formerly known as The Mid in Week One! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. I'm a